Keep still. We're travelers, lost on the mountains. Will you give us shelter? Mongols. In these parts live evil spirits who take our likeness to deceive us and then lead us to our deaths. Let us therefore destroy these evil spirits before they destroy us. We're not evil spirits. We are people like yourselves. Destroy them. Stop! <laughs> Put up your swords. Would you have us killed? These are evil spirits. I command you in the name of Kublai Khan. The old man has the mountain sickness. Yes, he has. My caravan is further down the pass. Come. Come on, Doctor. Who is he, Barbara? I was asking myself the same question. Susan. He mentioned Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan? He was a great Mongol leader who conquered all of Asia. He had a European in his service. He was a Venetian and his name... I'm afraid the, uh, the liquid is not too warm. But the cold here is so intense it even robs a flame of its heat. Oh, it takes a nourishment, sir. Mm. The cold can't affect the heat of the flame, sir. The liquid boils at a lower temperature because there's so little air up here. You mean the air is responsible? Well, the lack of it just as the lack of it is responsible for the doctor's mountain sickness. Is your name Marco Polo? It is, my lady, and may I ask who you are? Oh, we're, we're travelers, yes. That's my grandchild, Susan, and that's Miss Wright, and that's Charlton. <laughs> Chesterton. <laughs> Ian Chesterton. My companions are the Lady Ping Cho and the Warlord Tagant. We travel to Shang Tu. Shang Tu? That's in China, isn't it? China? I do not know this place. Shang Tu is in Cathay. Oh, silly of me. Yes, of course, Cathay. Well, you must all be very tired. Ping Cho, you will share your quarters with... Susan. Susan, I will sleep here with the others and Lady... Miss Wright. Miss Wright, you will have mine. Thank you. Thank you. You saved our lives. <clears throat> I'm rather curious to know why you were wandering around the mountainside at night. But questions can wait until... Uh, there, there, there were two young men that I would like to ask. We'll ask them. Uh, what uh, year is this and, and where are we? Hmm? You do not know? No, that's why I'm asking you. How long have you been traveling? It is 1289, and this is the plain of Pamir, known to those who travel to Cathay as the roof of the world. The roof of the world? 1289. Ah. Are you asleep, Susan? No. Where are you from? That's a very difficult question to answer, Pincho. You do not know where your home is. Well, I've had many homes in many places. What about you? I come from Samarkand. My father is government official there. 
But I thought Mr. Polo said... <laughs> Mr. Marco. That's what we call him in Tartesu, Well, I thought Mr. Mr. Marco said that you were going to Shang Tu. Are you on holiday? No. Kubla Khan's summer palace is in Shang Tu. I am going there to be married. What? Well, how old are you? I am in my 16th year. Well, so am I. Do you marry at our age in your land? Here it is the custom. Is your fiancé handsome? My what? Your... The man you're going to marry. I have never seen him. What? The marriage has been arranged by my family. I know only two things about him. Well, what are they? He's a very important man. That's a good start. And he's 75 years old. You should have let me kill them. Why? Because their clothes are different from ours? Because their words are unfamiliar to our ears? No, Tagana. They are travelers. They are evil spirits. Sorcerers. Magicians. Tomorrow, if we live until then, you may see that I speak the truth. I think the sun's rays will dispel the shadows from your mind, Tagana. Is it what you believe? Listen. The carriage they travel in has no wheels. It just stands there like our warlord's tomb on one end. And another thing. It is not large enough to carry four people. It must be. I say it is not, and yet I saw all four walk from it. Upon my sword, I swear it to you. So, this is your caravan. Yes. The doctor calls it the TARDIS. Where are the wheels? It doesn't have any. Then how does it move? Through the air. Did I not say that they were evil spirits? Are you of the Buddhist faith? No, why? Well, at the Khan's court in Peking, I have seen Buddhist monks make cups of wine fly through the air unaided and offer themselves to the great Khan's lips. I do not understand it. But I have seen it. There is room for all of you inside here, Miss Wright. Yes. And one enters here. It's locked. Where is the key? The doctor has it. And you wouldn't let him come up here. Oh, yes. He has the mounted signals. Have you the power to make it fly? No, only the doctor has that power. Why is it here? It's damaged. What? Um, a part of it is broken. But it could be moved by hand. Oh, yes, if you had sufficient men. Well, we'll make a sledge and take it down the pass. Then we shall see. Pichot! This smells very, very good. What is it? Bean sprout soup, my lord. Ah, hmm. Allow me. <clears throat> oh, it's delicious. My lord, it's fine. Mm. You know, it's rather surprising to find the daughter of a high government official working as a servant in Marco Polo's caravan. I wish to serve, my lord. Although, among Messer Marco's retinue, there is a man who calls himself a cook. His name wouldn't be Tigana, would it? Oh, no, my lord. The warlord Tugana is a special emissary from the camp of a great Mongol lord called Nogai, who has been at war with Kublai Khan. Yeah, Mongol fighting Mongol. <laughs> the war is over, my lord. Nogai has sued for peace.